Here's a quick question. What did you get at your graduation ceremony? A degree or maybe a pat on the back? Well, what if I tell you about a country where civil engineers walk away with something a tad more unique? A mighty iron ring. And get this, this iron ring isn't your typical bling. It's rugged, it's straightforward and it is made out of iron. So why in the world is this seemingly humble ring so valuable that seniors pass it on to their juniors like a sacred torch on their graduation day? Well, here's the scoop. It's not about the price tag. It's about the rich meaning it carries for those who wear it. I never take it off. Well, almost never. You see, the iron ring symbolizes how crucial civil engineers are in everyone's lives. So are you ready to dive into a tale where jewellery isn't just about sparkle but about stories carved in iron? Buckle up as we unravel the mystery together. Hey guys, this is Rajesh and welcome back to Novator. Before we delve deep into the iron rings, please take a minute to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that you don't ever miss any updates from us. Let's get into it. The location is Quebec City in Canada. The Quebec Bridge Company was founded to build a huge cantilever bridge over the St. Lawrence River in Quebec City. The dream was to link up Quebec City with the south shore of the river, all thanks to the epic bridge. The real action kicked off in the early 1900s. Now picture this, a superb bridge crossing those freezing icy waters of the St. Lawrence River, making life super easy for the city folks. It was all said to be the world's longest cantilever bridge, a real game changer. But you know how fate can be, it had different plans for this ambitious bridge dream. Let's now rewind to that fateful night on August 29, 1907. The bridge in the middle of getting its makeover, decides to take an unplanned break and collapses during construction. Imagine the chaos, 86 souls were on that bridge at that very moment. Miraculously, only 11 made it out with a disastrous story to tell. The rest faced a mix of horrific challenges during their death, impact, icy river chill and some drowned away. Sadly, some bodies never ever resurfaced, leaving no trace behind. Till now, you must be wondering what went wrong? The people who died had such a poor fate. Well, their fate was indeed poor, but the blame goes to the flawed design of the bridge. Turns out, even as they were piecing it together, the bridge's carrying capacity was a bit too tight for its own weight. Long story short, the poor thing was destined to do a dramatic collapse. And you won't believe it, but the sad saga of that bridge doesn't stop there. No, it didn't just collapse once, but twice. It's hard to believe, but that's the crazy reality. After the first collapse fiasco, the engineers gave it yet another shot. The bridge played hard to get and had another partial collapse. Yep, the middle span took another nose dive into the river and tragically 13 more lives were lost in the process. Talk about a rough ride for that bridge. Now we really want you to believe us when we say the engineers gave the bridge a third go. But hold on to your hats because this time they pulled it off. Construction finally wrapped up in 1917 with no more collapses. The bridge stands tall and proud today, finally. Now you might be scratching your head wondering how on earth a collapsed bridge ties into an iron ring tradition for civil engineers. It's a bit of a head scratcher, we know. Let's talk about this intriguing connection. The iron ring tradition is like a secret handshake among civil engineers. It's not about fashion, it's about a serious job with serious responsibilities. Think about it, the collapse of the Quebec Bridge isn't just a hiccup, it's a potential disaster that impacted thousands of lives. Visualize if the Quebec Bridge had opened to the public in 1907 with the hidden flaw, it could have been a nightmare scenario. 
The iron ring reminds civil engineers of the weight they carry. It's a symbol, a tradition, and the daily nudge that building safe structures isn't just a job, it's a responsibility. Now picture this, you are at your graduation ceremony, you have aced the course, now it's time to take the next step into the professional world. That's when you enter the iron ring ceremony. It is called the ritual of the calling of an engineer. It's like a super secret ceremony and only the graduates and the ringed engineers are invited to the ceremony. During the ceremony, all the new engineers are given an iron ring because this iron ring is like a secret handshake in the civil engineering profession. This iron ring will lifelong remind you of your duties and responsibilities towards your profession and the general public. Now you might be wondering, why iron? Well, it's about strength and resilience. The very qualities that make metal the backbone of the structures engineers create. Some say folks even melted down iron from the collapsed cubic bridge to make these rings. We aren't sure about how true this is, but it's pretty sentimental. We know you are thinking about the origins of the iron ring tradition now. Who was the genius behind this unique concept and how did it all kick off? We have got the deeds and trust us, it's a fascinating tale you won't want to miss. Tell us in the comment section if you already know who started this tradition. Would you believe if we dropped a bombshell today about a building or a bridge collapsing? We know it is almost unheard of today. It just doesn't happen often. But why did it happen then? During those days, designing a project was like navigating a maze blindfolded. A change in one part of the design led to a change in the entire design. You make a small change in the type of screw you're using and you're in for a redesign marathon. Engineers, site supervisors, architects, each of them had their own edition of the grand schematics. It was like they were solving the same puzzle but using different blocks. No wonder that poor bridge had a couple of hiccups before we got it right in 1917. Now imagine trying to build something epic with the technology we have today. Would the bridge collapse? The answer is a big fat no. Why? Because the industry is surfing a technological tsunami that is making everything super easy. Today we have a superhero called Building Information Modeling or BIM. It is a powerhouse process fueled by teamwork, smart planning, data analysis and eye-catching designs and visuals. You get to play around with ideas, see what works and collaborate with all the key players in real time with this tool. Speaking of BIM, it's a hot topic in the civil engineering market right now. We are not calling it a trend. BIM is going to stay here for as long as we can think of. So we think it's about time for you too to level up your game. Join our BIM professional course and dive into the world of not one, not two, but 10 plus BIM software. Receive triple certification upon the completion of the course, one from Autodesk, one from NSDC and one from us just to pat you on the back for a job well done. I don't want you to miss out on this opportunity, so go to our description below to find the link to the BIM professional course for civil engineers to enroll. Let's dive deeper into the epic tale of the iron ring. Can you believe this tradition is almost a century old in Canada since 1925? That's mind boggling. So credit where it's due. H.E.T. Haltain, a Canadian engineer and mastermind, pitched the idea to the Engineering Institute of Canada. He suggested a ceremony where seasoned engineers welcome newly graduated engineers to the club. They inform them about how serious this profession is and share their responsibilities with them. The iron ring concept was born. Interesting, right? Fast forward to the 70s and the US hopped onto the iron ring bandwagon and called their tradition Order of the Engineer. Their ring design is a bit different, but the sentiment is the same. A nod to the rock solid responsibilities of civil engineers. So the next time you see an engineer in Canada and the US and notice the iron ring on their pinky finger, you know their not so hidden secret. They have sworn to keep us all safe and sound. Alright, 
that wraps up on our journey into the fascinating world of the iron ring and hey even if you are not in the canada or us you can still vibe with the whole integrity and responsibility and while you are at it feel free to drop suggestions in the comment section below and what you would like to hear next from us do hit the like button share this video now with your ac folks and subscribe if you haven't yet and if you are feeling inspired and motivated you can check this video out to know why civil engineers should learn pim see you in the next one tribe until then let's dare to disrupt